What's up y'all, it's Bert here. Today I'm gonna be doing a video on eight things you need as a content creator just starting out and even things you need along the way. These are still things that I use today and I'm gonna put where you can get them, roughly how much they are and all the links will be in the description down below. With that being said, the first thing you need is gonna be a tripod. So this is a Yodel on tripod. You can get this on Amazon. It's roughly $50, $55. This is a great beginner tripod. Uh, it's comparable to my $80 tripod. So if you can save 30 bucks, I would go with the Yodel on. It does just the exact same thing. It is, it has a leveler up top, which is really nice because it shows you when your picture is level. Um, I really like that. And it is, um, it's pretty durable. So it's well built for $50, even if you're not a beginner, I this is a great tripod to have just as a backup, as a main one, whatever, this is a great tripod. So that's the first item. So moving on to the next item, uh, besides the tripod, that's just as important is gonna be the camera bag. So this is really important because yes, you can put your gear in a backpack, sure, but camera bags are specifically designed to, that's the wrong pocket, so I'm not gonna show you that one. Camera bags have this padding for your expensive gear. And let's be real, a lot of this gear is not cheap. So you wanna make sure it's always protected. And that's why the camera bag is just as important, if not more important than the tripod. Um, this is probably be number one and the tripod for sure. So you can get this one. I got this one at Best Buy for like $80, maybe cheaper. So I mean, I would justify $100 to spend on a good camera bag. You can get some that are cheaper on Amazon, um, but spend the money to protect your gear because like I said, none of this stuff is cheap. I mean, you go to a camera store, you'll see how expensive and how fast things add up real quick. So that's number two, the camera bag. Next one is gonna be the white balance card. This is super important. You can get one of these for $8 on Amazon. I think like eight or $9. When you're using a camera, setting the white balance in any setting you go to is super, super important. For $8, this kind of makes your job easier as a content creator. It's worth the $8. I honestly would pay 20 to $30 for a great white balance card, but this one gets the job done. And it comes with this nifty little, little travel size pouch to keep it compact. I mean, you could probably fit this thing in your pocket. So for $8, it's well worth the spend. White balance card is number three. Next one is also gonna be a phone holder. Phone holder for your tripod is just as important. Uh, I know not everyone can get a camera. The best camera you can use is the one you have. I mean, a lot of these phones have great cameras now. I mean, I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So fit this perfectly on a tripod. You can mount it horizontal or you can set it up on your tripod vertically. Uh, really doesn't matter, especially if you get the Yodel on one. It makes it easy to rotate from vertical to horizontal. This one is going to be a Yulzani or Ulzani, if I'm pronouncing that right. This one's like 15 bucks. So for 15 bucks to get your content shot is not bad. I mean, if you're just using your phone between that and a tripod, you're spending under $100 to start making your content. So pretty important, pretty useful uh, phone holder that goes onto your tripod is pretty great. If you found this helpful so far, as far as items you need, uh, be sure to leave a comment like maybe there's something else you think's important or share the video to someone who's just starting out in their content creating journey. Jumping back into it, we're gonna go with the next thing that I think is important. And I don't think it's talked about enough, but it's gonna be compressed air. Compressed air is super, super underrated. I don't think it's talked about enough. You can get a four pack of these at Sam's. You can probably order a four pack on Amazon, uh, but at Sam's it's like 14 bucks for four of these. Walmart has a two pack for like 12 bucks. So if you have a Sam's membership, it's definitely worth it. But compressed air is so important because you'll go out filming and shooting and doing, getting all of this great stuff, but if there's wind, there's a possibility of dirt and dust getting into your lens. And in the final product, if there's enough of it, you'll see a black spot on your final product and it's just an eyesore to see. So yeah, compressed air is pretty important and pretty helpful. Moving on to the next item is gonna be the Rode Micro Mini. So yeah. Having an external microphone, I think is pretty important. It just adds that next level of professionalism to your videos. So the Rode Micro Mini is a great starter external microphone. 
And we've come a long way with our technology. So the internal microphones are great. Like I said, I think this just takes your content to the next level. Um, for s about $70, this is really great. You can get a shotgun mic for like 200, so 70 bucks. I'd say start with this and then move on. It comes with the dead cat, so this is for wind resistance. And I like this one too, because a rubber mount, actually, if you're moving around or walking with your camera, this will absorb a lot of the, the shock from just moving around and it won't have any noise and so, it, like I said, it just adds that next touch of professionalism. So yeah, the Rode Micro Mini, about $70, is great to have, and I think it's a, it's a pretty important item to have. Coming down to the last two items that I think are pretty important when it comes to creating content as a beginner is gonna be the L bracket mount. In this day and age, the way social media is going as far as Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, all of those things, vertical videos are pretty important. So what happens with this, it's gonna keep your camera in place onto your tripod for that vertical video format. So like I said, it's pretty important in this day and age the way social media is as a content creator. And it's about $30 for this L bracket mount. And it's it's metal, so I mean, for a little mount, it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Because you wanna make sure your gear that's super expensive is secured onto your tripod. So it's worth the $30, and it's already formatted for you to shoot vertical videos for those social medias and to get that content out. The last item I'm gonna be talking about is extremely important, probably up there with the camera bag and tripod. You always save the best for last, right? So is actually gonna be an external light. The one I chose actually is the Loom Cube 2.0. The Loom Cube 2.0 is super important because lighting is 80% of the battle when it comes to filming content. If you have terrible lighting, then our cameras have come a long way, yes, and the technology in them is great, but we can only do so much with that before we start losing quality in the image. So lighting is so important. And for this little thing, this is probably one of the priciest items on this list. Uh, it's probably about $100. And I know you're probably thinking, like, well, why is that tiny thing so expensive? One, it has an app you can control the light with. Two, it's waterproof. Three, it's very travel friendly. I mean, look at this thing. It fits in the palm of my hand and it gives off great light. Don't let this little size fool you. I'm actually gonna show you how much light that it gives off. And so we're gonna turn off the lights. So like I said, the, the Loom Cube has an app. And so we're actually gonna turn it on from our phone. And this is at 17%. We'll go all the way to 100. I didn't change my camera settings. I'm in pitch black right now for having no source of light at all. I think this is pretty good. It has a constant light. It has a strobe, strobe one. It has a, a faster strobe, so it's pretty cool. It has red eye detection, so if you're Filming through your phone, you can actually control something like that, which is really nice. The Loom Cube is definitely worth the price point, in my opinion. So yeah, wrapping this up, those are all items I think everyone could use as far as creating content that are super helpful and super, super useful that won't break the bank. Like I said, if you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, leave something in the comments below if you think I missed something that is just as valuable and important to creating content. That being said, y'all, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.